Hey guys. Um, some very sad news happened today. I was driving the RC car here, and I jumped it. It lands, and right, I'm thinking either the spur year or the pending year has busted. So we, I need to take it apart so I can see what's going on and what we need to replace. We already got three spur gears on the way. So I just need to get into here and check what's going on. But um yeah. Let's go. Okay, so, turns out, it was just this pin in here, oh, well, that's not good, bone piece, uh, came off of that, so, yeah, but luckily, it was just the pin in here, here, slid back from the spur gear, so I'm gonna have to take this out, and see if I can move that forward. Okay, looks like the set screw is gone. So that's not good. <laughs> Alright, so apparently it was just the set screw instead of the pinion or the actual spur gear. So, all we really have to do now is take this off. If it wants to come off. And put that set screw in on maybe a 16 instead of a 10. So, yeah. Alright, so this is what we were running before. As you can see, we did get some use out of it. As you can see, some of that black paint has worn off. And we're going to put a 16 tooth pinion gear in there. Uh, higher speeds, uh, lower acceleration than that. It is 16 um, teeth different, but hey. It's faster. Yeah, it is faster than everything. So, that to that, we're going to that. Alright, so putting the motor in. Uh, no lock tight just yet. Just kind of, just kind of putting it in. See how it lines up. I think I put that. We have to pull it this way a little bit. I put it in pretty good, so that looks like it's centered. Okay. So now we're going to have to put lock tight um, on the set screw. Let it sit for a little bit. Put it back in, and see how it runs. guys so now we have the lock tight on now we have to let it sit for a day which will suck but um i will check back in with you tomorrow to see how this is running we also thrashed in some dirt so i have to let all the tires sit i just um so the ones we had on they got real muddy so i set those in water cleaned them and all that so they're soaking and the other ones i just felt like soaking because i've had them out for a long time before but, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow when this is done. So, yeah. Alright, guys, new problem now. Uh, my car is unresponsive.
like um, we think it could be this because that's how we usually fix it but as you can see this will blink red and usually it will stay a solid red when everything's fine and it won't turn solid so I'm trying to wonder so I'm trying to wonder if it's what what it could be to fix it but yeah so that's another problem we have to fix alright so my dad thinks since we're not receiving anything to here as you can see I can turn this on that will just blink and we won't get any movement here and we tried replace well not replacing these but pushing them down and all that didn't make a change but I got a new ESC here that I'm gonna try and put in here and see if it's gonna do anything different I don't think it will but it's worth a shot so so first what I'm gonna try and do is get this off and see if I can get this off I'm gonna have to cut this uh, zip tie we have on here try and take this out put the new one in, connect it all up, see if it runs and if it doesn't, well I'm at a loss but I guess I need to start by taking these off or out, I should say Okay, so this is the servo wire. So I'm just gonna try. Hold on, this looks busted. This looks kind of busted. There's a little silver piece that's sticking out right there. Right there. I don't. I don't think that's good, but we're gonna have to see. We only have a new um, ESC, so we're gonna just try to replace that. Now, I don't think there are any screws to it. Yeah, so those are to the um, servo. So, I think it's just a little in there by some tape. If I'm not mistaken. Not too sure how I'm gonna get that off. Um. Yeah, because I don't see any screws under here. Only screws that go to the servo right here. So, I'm actually not too sure. That goes to there. Yeah, it must be held on by some tape. So. I'm not too sure I'm going to get this off. That would be a problem. Hold on, guys, while I'll figure this out. Alright. So, change of plans. I'm going to have to watch a YouTube video on how to get this out. Because it's just stuck in there, and I don't know how to get it out. But, if we plug this back in right now. I was thinking I could just plug this in as so. Plug in A motor. Just as so. 
and if I hook up the battery, to see if the ESC will even make a difference. So we got the red lights. Now we're gonna have to see it is on. But I think it's definitely something in the connections here. I don't think this has to be even hooked up. To here by anything. And it's not working it seems. It's still not working here. So things went very bad. Um so since I can't get the ESC out. We're thinking it's gonna have to be the receiver. Or not the receiver, but that part right there. That part that's pretty much in the middle where my thumb is by. We're gonna have to get that. It, it's, it couldn't be anything else. It's, um, it's, it's, um. Okay, guys, so basically, the reason I'm so upset is because that receiver or whatever you want to call it, it is expensive. It is $100 for that little piece. Well, freeze frame. All right, I made a mistake. This is like a day or two after recording this, and after I did some research, I realized that the uh, receiver... Yeah, it comes with a uh, transmitter or remote, so that's why it's so expensive. So, my bad on that, and let's continue with the video. And, we can't get it to run, we can't get it to do anything. And I know some of you might be saying, well, put the tires back on, it might work. No, it won't work like that. Because it can run without the tires. So it's like, why do you think it's the tires? But, it just, it won't run right now. As you can see, it's just, it's all taken apart. I'm gonna put it back together. Cause we're gonna need new brains, new everything, pretty much. Well, not everything, but, you know what I mean. New, pretty much just new that, but we're probably gonna get new other stuff too so yeah that's the end of this video i guess and see you in the part two